What's going on, guys? Welcome back. Chelsea 1, Nottingham Forest 1. And yeah, we couldn't break down the Forest. So we didn't look like we were going to score at all today. That's what I thought. When Nicholas Jackson ball hit the post, came back and hit the goalkeeper on the back of the arm, and then somehow he managed to salvage it from stopping it from going over the line. You just knew it weren't going to be our day today. I thought to myself, we'll be lucky to get away with a draw. And we were lucky to get away with a draw, even though they went down to 10 men. The first half, we just never looked like scoring. It just didn't look like it was ever going to happen. We had chances. It just just didn't want to happen. Just The ball just didn't want to go in the back of the net. It just weren't going to happen. Their goalkeeper was on fire. Their defence was great. And they looked like they were going to go up the other end any moment and score the way we defend at the moment. It, couldn't, it can happen any moment to us. And it did in the second half. James Ward-Prowse with a free kick. You know he's good at the delivering the ball. You've got to mark up. You've got to watch players like Chris Wood in the box. And we didn't. We left Gusto with two men. Two men. Why? How is that happening? And he loses one of them. That guy's had the ball down. There's Chris Wood tapping the ball in the back of the net. 1-0 for us. And you're thinking, that's it. They're just going to defend for the rest of the game. They're going to shove everyone behind the ball. Park the bus. Park everything. And it's game over. But minutes later, Madueke, a moment of magic from him. Hadn't had a great game, didn't have a good game. But that moment there, he managed to cut inside. A left foot, beautiful shot through a crowd of players. Goalkeeper had no chance and it finds the back of the net. It's one all. And from that moment, we'd, we still didn't look like we were going to score again. <coughs> yes, we had chances, but... Somehow, it just didn't seem like it was going to be our day. Their goalkeeper was on fire today. Cole Palmer had the chance, had the moment, a beautiful touch to get himself into a bit of space. Had one shot, the keeper saved it. Had another shot, the keeper saved it. It just wasn't happening for the lad today. And you can't rely on Cole Palmer every fucking game. We have other players in this team that need to step up as well. Sancho didn't really do it today for me. Nicholas Jackson... Was starving today. Didn't have much service whatsoever. I don't remember anything from Nicholas Jackson today. He tried to create stuff for himself. It just wasn't happening. And Kunku came on the pitch. Should have scored that header. And the last moment. Great save from the keeper though. Mudrick comes on the pitch. And he set up that moment. Just gunning down the left hand side. Finally someone beating on Arena for pace. Absolutely skinned him. Jack Sancho couldn't do it all game. One moment, Mudrick's through. Gets the ball in. There's Nkunko. There's the header. And a great save from the keeper. What can we do? It just, it just felt like today. It just wasn't going to be our day. We managed to get away with a point And we can't complain. With this side at the moment, you never know what's going to happen. No one's going to say... We, we can't guarantee that we're going to be challenging for top four. We can't guarantee we're going to be challenging for the title. Not with Robert, Robert Sanchez in goal. He had a he had moments today. He made some great saves. Though. You've got to give him that. Some great saves today. But there were moments where he's passing the ball out and you're thinking, what the fuck are you doing? But yeah, that save at the end there, my goodness. He pulls off some great saves. So we've got to, we've got to say thank you for that, Sanchez. But yeah, at moments, yeah, you give us heart attacks. Anyway, overall, yeah, disappointed not to get three points at home against Nottingham Forest. But look what they did to Liverpool a couple of weeks ago. They beat Liverpool. They're unbeaten away from home. And there's reasons why. The way they play away from home. Yeah. It, it works for them. And they're going to keep doing it. So why wouldn't they? And they did it to us. They did it to Liverpool. They're going to pick up a lot of points away from home. If they're going to play like this. It's, they're, they're a difficult team to play against. Any team in this league is going to struggle at home against Nottingham Forest. Away. Uh, when when Nottingham Forest are at home, they, that's where they struggle. They struggle to beat the lower teams, to break them down, to come out and actually attack. So, yeah. Maybe we'll do better at the city ground. Who knows? Anyway, let me know what you think down below. Yes, it's, it's disappointing that we didn't beat Forest today, but we move anyway. And yes, it's disappointing that Kukurea, Fafana and Colwell are all out for the next game. All suspended. Fantastic. This ref had a stinker today, in my opinion. He was absolutely shocking. Let me know what you think today about the result down below. If you're a Chelsea fan, please, please, please smash that subscribe button. Really do appreciate everyone that has done so, so far. Up the Chelsea. Let's keep moving. I'm backing this team. I'm backing this manager. I'm backing these players all the way this season. 
whatever may be, may be. Let's just keep going. We're Chelsea through and through. And if you are too, then smash that subscribe button. Thank you very much. And I'll, I'll see you all next time.